Our plan for today calls for us to hit the road just basically as soon as possible. Vortex 2 teams have been crisscrossing towns the last few days, first in Oklahoma and then in Texas, Amarillo, Tulia, and Silverton, chasing the line, the dry line. The dry line is a boundary that separates dry air from the desert, from moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. And that boundary seems to be a focal point for convection initiation. It seems like the dry line is a very efficient supercell producer. Probably more tornadoes in the eastern Texas panhandle than practically anywhere else. But for tornado genesis, the dry line needs massive lifting, warm air rushing up into cold, fast-moving winds. And right now, it's just foggy and wet. And even when that burns off, the air above ends up being too warm to have the desired effect. So we pull over and wait. Right now, there's still there's still a lid above those clouds, so it's not allowing it to explode into explosive thunderstorms. So that's what we, the waiting game is, waiting till the cap actually breaks and allows those cumulus clouds to really shoot up and become, you know, 40, 50,000 foot storms. Eventually, some cool air does come, and in the distance, there appears what's called virga, raindrops that evaporate before hitting the ground. We're closer, but there's a big difference between thunderstorms and tornadoes. For the Weather Channel, I'm Brian Pollock.